Hello everyone. Today I'm going to take you through running a simple URL and a JMeter test on Redline. Um, this will be the first part of our series of going into the different types of tests that we can run on Redline. So we'll start by logging into our account here. And then we come to the main landing page and now we can hit start new test. And here is where we'll see the various types of load tests that we can run. So now I'm going to walk us through uh, a simple URL test. So to begin, let's make sure that we have the simple test tab selected, and then we can begin to enter in our parameters. We're going to use Twitter for this example, and now we can play with the other parameters of our test. So here, let's simulate 20 users, and then our iterations per use, how many times we want to run the tests. Let's do two iterations. And then we can enter in our ramp up time and our delay time. So let's have four seconds here. We'll do a minimum delay of 500 milliseconds and we'll keep the maximum delay where it's at. And then we can go down here and click a save the response output from individual tests and calculate percentiles. It's a nice pro feature we have that grants you access to some other graphs and downloadable reports. And we can dive into our advanced cloud options where we can control our load agents. And as you'll see here, we have the different parameters for our load agents. So we can select what servers we want to use. In this example, we'll be testing on the German servers. Um, we can select how many servers we want to use, how many users we want to split up per the server. And then we can also select the different types and sizes of servers and EC2 instances. As you'll see, you have access to the entire range of Amazon's servers. We'll keep it on M3 mediums for now. Then we can even edit our disk size and if we have any subnetted IDs or security group IDs, we can enter them in as well. We don't need that for our test. But we can scroll down here and we can even add another load agent. Let's say we wanted to split up the test and test in two different locations. So we can do that as well, but we'll just keep it as um, one load agents for now. And then if we scroll down here, we can go to our advanced simple test options where we can edit and control our get and post parameters. And then finally, before we're about to begin, we can go ahead and name our test and hit start test. And now the servers will begin to spin up. Usually this takes about five minutes at most for the servers to get active and then our test will run. Now that our test is completed, we've been redirected to the results page where we can see the breakdown of everything that happened. As you'll see, this test only cost us 17 cents in total. Um, here in the summary, we can get a, just a quick glance of the overview. So we can see that 95% of the requests completed at 28 seconds. We can see how long the test took, the errors, the number of requests total, how many net bytes were received and sent, our CPU usage. Here under details, you know, it's just mainly an overview of the parameters that we set up earlier. Um, we can add any notes and comments to this test if we would like, if we share our tests with anyone else on our QA or our development team. We can get a breakdown of the servers that were used uh, in Germany and the costs as well. We can download that as a CSV. Here under output files, we can have, you know, most of the output files for respective servers and then we can go ahead and download them if we would like. If we scroll down we can see our percentile results, our various other overview metrics, and our response time, and as you can see all these graphs are interactive. We can expand them, we can toggle average, toggle commutative, see the number of users running and have it broken down by time. And then here we have our uh, the request table and filter, so you can specifically see all of the actual requests and their load times. Then scrolling down more, we have our request metrics. And again, we can expand this and really click down and you know really hone in on the details of the various requests. Um, we can toggle the average and whatnot. Here we have our page average response time, our kilobytes per request, and then finally our error metrics. 
Now that we've walked through a simple URL test, uh, we can go ahead and take a look at a pretty straightforward JMeter test and what that looks like when we run it on Redline. So most of this is pretty much the same as the URL test, just the difference being that we need to upload a JMX file. So I have created a sample test plan that I made earlier. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail about creating test plans in JMeter because JMeter users will know that we could make an hour-long video about that. But yeah, again, we can play with a number of servers, and then if we have an external CSV file with containing plugins or libraries or anything else, we can also upload that as well. And then we want to select which JMeter version we're on. And then again, we'll click our save response output and calculate percentiles. And then we can go ahead and here into our load agents. And again, this is all the same as the uh, simple URL test. So you can edit the same type of parameters and all that great stuff. I'm just going to keep it simple for now. And, and then we can expand the advanced JMeter test options where we can hone in even more uh, details if we want to have our option string where we can specify our various JMeter options or JVM options, um, which plugins that we want to include and whatnot. Uh, and you know, if we want to have the JMeter report or to send our uh, data to InfluxDB, we can do that as well. I'm just going to keep that all uh, as is for now. And then finally, we'll just name our test and hit start test. So now that our test is completed, we are brought to the similar overview and results page as before. You can see that this test cost us only 14 cents in total. And we can just, you know, quickly scroll down and we'll see the same breakdown like we got with our URL test. Obviously just a little bit different since this was a JMeter test. And yeah, you can also access, if you're a pro member, some of our other features to make testing easier, like the ability to clone tests for repeated uh, testing or you can run your test inside of Jenkins, or even export the test as a Jenkins pipeline. But yeah, that's running a simple URL or JMeter test on Redline. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.